Oh man, I'm really struggling here. Hello guys, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. It is Black Friday and I'm at Keystone. So I am actually not skiing today. I really needed a break because I have been trying some new boots the last couple of days. I went to a custom boot fitter and it has been a really interesting process. So today I'm going to share some of that with you. So I have skied about 100 days since I started last year in February, and I would probably call myself an upper intermediate. I can ski all green, blues, and blacks, including all the mogul runs. I can do some double blacks. I haven't tried all of them. Um, I like to scope them out before I go down them. I still don't always feel comfortable, and sometimes I do get stuck. I am atrocious at carving um, because I didn't really spend a lot of time on groomers when I first started skiing. Uh, I also didn't take a lot of lessons, so um, I'm working on that. Lately, because it's early season, I've spent a lot of time on groomed runs and I have been pushing my limit when it comes to speed and I've gone up to almost 50, which I know is probably not a lot for many of you, but for me, this is very exciting because I used to be a very nervous skier. I would go so slowly and everybody would have to wait for me. So this is like a big, exciting development for me. But you know, because of that, I am really starting to crave a little bit more stability in my feet. I have these really old boots from 2018. They're Nordica NXT Pro 75. And they were rentals before I bought them. So um, they were pretty worn already. They are super comfortable. They have served me well and I've skied everything in them. But now I think I need something a little bit more snug, a little stiffer, and just allow me to be more aggressive and have more control. I actually demoed several pairs of boots last year when I demoed skis. They would always fit well and be comfortable in the shop, but as soon as I get on the lift, it will start to cramp and I will feel like I need to take them off as soon as I start skiing. They would strangle me. I would be so uncomfortable and every time I just want to cry. So I haven't really been able to just go in a shop and buy boots yet. So I thought I would talk to my coworker who is a very experienced skier and he connected me to a boot fitter and I just kind of expected that the boot fitter would solve all of my problems because they'll measure my feet, the liners would be custom, and it would just be a really easy and magical process. And it didn't turn out to be quite so easy, um, and I'm gonna show you what happened. So let's just rewind a couple days and see where I was at. Good morning, guys. I'm at Vail today, and I'm getting my boots fitted for the first time. So I have been on these old rental boots for around two years now. Um, I bought them, but they were used rentals. I paid about 50 bucks, and this is definitely going to be different, and it's gonna be a huge upgrade, so I'm really excited. I think normally the boot fitter would start with asking you a bunch of questions about what you like to ski and where your level is at. But my coworker actually already told him a bunch of stuff about me, so we didn't really do a lot of that. The fancy white machine here is a scanner. It produces a 3D image of your foot. With that, it spits out all kinds of measurements of your feet. I didn't know this before, but the length of my feet are different by about 2 millimeters. After the white scanner, I stepped on the red measuring device one foot at a time. One of the issues I have noticed when I ski or run is that my arches start getting really sore or even painful. My fitter said it looks like I pronate a little and I need more arch support. The red device also sort of creates a 3D measurement. There are these rounded spikes that come out from the holes underneath and they hug the bottom of your foot. So the computer can register the shape of your feet. The fitter had me flex my knees forward and put the same amount of weight on both of my feet to get an accurate measurement. So after all the measurements, this is what we have now. So right now my boot fitter is going to inject this foam thing inside of the liner so it could really mold to the shape of my feet. As the liquid foam comes into the liners, the liners will start to tighten up around your feet and this should theoretically 
allow the liners to match your feet exactly. I was feeling a lot of pressure and it was super, super snug until they took the foam tubes out and took my feet out of the actual boots. Side note here, the fitter told me that I had very poor sock choice, so he gave me these ultra thin skier socks. Now we're finally ready to put on my first pair of boots. Okay guys, I just clicked them in and they're feeling a little tight already and I feel a little sore, but we'll see how it feels after I start skiing a bit. All right, just got to the top of the lift. I don't know you guys, it's my, the arches of my left foot is already hurting and I barely skied like a hundred yards. So uh, I'm gonna try to go down a blue or a green and see how that feels. And yeah, I'll be back. So I skied a run and a half. I think I do have a little bit of a better control, but I'm not really sure quite yet. My left foot is still hurting, so I'm going to go down to the village to get that fixed. All right, you guys, so I did two runs and my right foot feels pretty good, but my left foot is hurting really bad. The arches especially. Um, I'm skiing down right now to get it adjusted by the fitter. But I think in terms of, I think in terms of stiffness, this is really good. I feel decently in control, so um, I think 90 is a good flex for me. So I ski from mid-mountain down to the base and I'm seriously in the ver on the verge of tears. It hurts so much, both of my feet. So hopefully the second try will get better. So the fitter said he put uh, my liners literally in boiling water and I put them right back on. So hopefully they will mold my feet better and I'm gonna go up and take another run and see how that goes. Round two update, it hurts a tiny bit less, but I still really want to cry right now. It's so painful. All right, so I'm on round three now. I'm in a wider boot and it's already feeling a little bit more comfortable. So we'll see how the actual skiing goes. Round three update. It's feeling better than the last boot. I think I need to tighten my toes a little bit, but um, I was able to get down a black run. I didn't feel totally stupid, so that is an improvement. And also my left foot doesn't hurt at all anymore, and now my right foot kind of hurts. So we'll see if we can get that adjusted, and I'll try another run before calling it a day. Okay, I have officially done two runs, and I think these are the ones. Yep. It's feeling pretty good. These boots you just saw me try in round three were actually a lot wider than the original pair they had for me. I talked to the fitter after that run and he said that I should probably go with something that is still a little narrower because I was still feeling like there's some space in there. I mean, I was very comfortable in those because that's how my current boots feel, um, but that's not going to give me the control that I want, right? So we ultimately decided on these Langs XT3 Free 95s. I think the stiffness should be just right and it'll give me the option to do touring if I wanted to in the future as well. The next day I picked these boots up and ended up in Loveland to test them out. You guys, so I am completely relearning how to ski. These boots are okay, at least they seem okay, but I just can't do moguls anymore. Like it's icy and I can't control it. I'm just like racing all the time. And I don't know, my foot is starting to really throb again because of that. Um, this is really going to be a process. Um, yeah, and I got myself into this mogul run. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> now I have to get all the way down. Okay, <laughs> wish me luck. Oh man, I'm really struggling here and I'm so embarrassed because I skied this blue run last spring here at Loveland and I could zipper line down this. I mean, it's not difficult, but I'm just totally useless now and my legs are excruciating. Well, not my legs, my feet. I just, they're strangling me again. So I don't know what to do. Oh, saga continues, I guess. Oh. 
I'm just really questioning life right now, you know? Yeah, I just don't want to have to go back and, you know, get it adjusted again, but I think I have to. It just sucks. <sighs> so I went down another green run and that was totally fine, but I can't seem to do anything harder than that. So I don't know if I should just stay with these for a little while longer or try to get them adjusted again. Let me know. In the comments what I should do. As you can see that was quite the roller coaster and it's not over yet. Right now I think I just need a bit of a break and I think I will try these same boots out again, take it easy, see if that gets better. If not I'll go back to the fitter to see what else they can try. Either way I'll definitely keep you guys posted. If you want to see what happens and how this process ends make sure to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you next time.